Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and today I'm just going to talk about why I personally carry a handgun when I'm hunting. Um, this is not the handgun I plan to carry when I'm hunting, simply because it's a 22, it's a rim fire. Not much you can really hunt with a 22 pistol. It's unloaded, by the way. Um, you can't hunt deer with it. I have carried it when I hunt deer, but uh, it's technically illegal, and I never took a shot at a deer anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But um, this is not the gun I plan to carry. The gun I plan to carry is actually a 9mm. It's uh, Smith & Wesson 5904. Um, I've carried a 1911 and a car CW9, which is another 9mm, it's a subcompact. Um, but that's just the variety of handguns that I've carried when I'm deer hunting. Uh, the reason that I carry the pistol uh, is simple. It's for self-defense in case I come across, say, a coyote or a, um, a bobcat or maybe a rabid raccoon or something that could potentially pose a threat to me and the pistol is for neutralizing that threat. Now some people, uh, mainly my parents, wonder why do I even carry the pistol anyway. I have a rifle, and by the way, this is my hunting rifle of choice, Marlin 336 3030. Also empty, not sure if you can tell, but it is empty. And it's on half cock and hammer block safety. So, why carry a pistol when you already have a rifle or a muzzle loader or a bow? Well, you probably wouldn't, I don't think you can technically carry a pistol when you're bow hunting, but if you have a muzzle loader or a rifle, you already have a gun, so why carry the pistol? Well, the answer is quite simple. It all has to do with speed and ease of drawing the weapon. So, let's say if a coyote is running towards me right now, it is way easier to do this and take it off safe. Of course, you got to train yourself to take it off safe. I'm not really trained, but you take it off safe, um, very easy to take it off, take this pistol off safe, very easy to take my Smith & Wesson off safe, and just making sure it's back on safe. It's a lot faster to do that than this. And cock the hammer, of course, if you're the type of person that uses the hammer block safety, you gotta remember to do that, because if you pull the trigger, on the hammer block safety, it's uh, not going to fire. Also, on this gun, you cannot use the iron sights because you can tell the scope is in the way of the back sight and you can't use the iron sight. No, that is not the only scope setup that you can use, but on this particular gun, you can't use the iron sight. And I personally don't like that. Uh, eventually I'm going to get a bolt action. I'm going to put, take the scope off of this, put it on the bolt action, and just use straight iron sights with this. The scope was free. My uncle bought it for me. I decided to take it since it was free. But anyway, as you can tell from that little demonstration, it's much easier to do this. You can even one hand this pistol. Um, very easy. You know, you can shoot with one hand if you're if you're good enough, depending on what caliber you're using. Um, it's just so much easier to just pull a gun from the hip or pull it from underneath your uh, armpit if you're using a shoulder holster. Uh, if you're using a shoulder holster, you probably want your rifle on the other side. Uh, it just depends on on what your setup is if you're right-handed, left-handed. Um, but it, again, it's still easier to pull a gun from under your armpit, and boom, 
not so easy with taking a rifle off your shoulder, taking it off safe, cocking the hammer, pointing it, trying to find it through the scope. It's just time consuming and by that time the animal or possibly even person that's trying to attack you has already gotten to you and is already attacking you. It's also a lot easier to aim a pistol faster. Well, I guess that could be debatable. But anyway, it all has to do with time. Now as far as what type of gun or type of handgun and type of and size of caliber to use, it all depends on the situation. It depends on what you're hunting and what you're actually using the pistol for. If you're using the pistol to hunt, um, like if you're deer hunting and you're actually using it to hunt, I would go with at least a 10 millimeter or maybe a 357 Magnum, uh, something with a little more mm than a 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter is what you would use for if you're just using it for self-defense. Um, perfectly lethal for anything within very close range, uh, quick follow-up shots, etc. Uh, you could use a 22 if you're doing like small games and stuff like that, uh, squirrels, rabbits, whatever. If you think a 22 is powerful enough to kill anything that might potentially attack you like a coyote or a rabid raccoon, uh, 22 is perfectly lethal for those animals. Um, but then again, it's rim fire. It's not necessarily the most reliable, so I recommend the center fire no matter what. Um, you're typically not going to use a pistol to hunt squirrels anyway. Uh, it's just not accurate enough. The squirrel's not necessarily going to be close enough for you to even hit it uh, unless you're 22 Plinkster or Annie Oakley or someone like that. Um, you got to be a pretty good marksmanship marksman for that. Um, if you're wanting to hunt bears, I would at least go with a 44 Magnum, like a Ruger Red Hawk or a Super Black Hawk or Smith & Wesson Model 29, something like that. Or if you, that's my minimum requirement for bear hunting. I'm talking about grizzly bears now. Um, that's for both hunting and self-defense. Because, I mean, if you're hunting, say, elk, or moose, or something like that, and you're in bear territory, you might potentially come across a bear, and you want something powerful enough to neutralize the threat of the bear, because grizzly bears are known to attack, and grizzly bears are not going to go down easy. You want at least a 44 Magnum. I would stay away from anything semi-automatic because of reliability issues. Semi-automatics can jam a whole lot easier than a revolver, and revolvers are just uh, more powerful, plain and simple. If you look at a revolver round versus a semi-automatic round, typically the revolver round is much longer, which means more powder, more uh, power behind the, behind the bullet. So I would go with at least a 44 mag. If you want to go bigger, you can go with a 480 Ruger, 454 Pistol, uh, even a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Uh, for bears. That's a very good round as long as you are able to control the gun well enough. And with those rounds, it it recoils a lot. So if you're not a very big guy, uh, 44 Magnum is probably the gun for you. Probably one with a longer barrel, maybe with a little more weight, uh, so you can hold the gun down easier. You know, I've shot a 44 Magnum before and I'm not a very big guy, and it it went up. It had a lot of recoil. I wasn't necessarily holding it right either, so that was prob part of the problem. But anyway, those are the calibers I recommend for those situations. Do you have to go with them? No, this is just my recommendation. Um, but anyway, I always will. I will always carry a pistol when hunting. Probably not this gun, probably at least a 9mm. I don't have a holster for the 9mm yet, that's why I grabbed this. Um, like I said, I've carried a uh, 1911 and a uh, 9mm and this. Don't recommend this. But anyway, that's why I carry a pistol when hunting. Um, plain and simple, it's a very simple 
reason. Um, if you hunt, I do recommend carrying a pistol just for those just-in-case situations. Um, a rifle probably is, is not going to be fast enough to aim or to even get it off your shoulder. You want to have something that you can draw fast. Um, and of course you can even hunt with it if you get the right, the right caliber, the right barrel length. Um, there are some people who only hunt with pistols. And I might try that once or twice in my lifetime. I don't know. I have to be more of a pistol guy. Uh, this is the only pistol I've really shot extensively. Uh, and it's a 22, so it really doesn't uh, mean anything. Uh, I've shot 9mm, 40s, 45s, 44s, 357s. I've shot pretty much all the popular rounds just not extensively. I've only shot maybe like a magazine or two through each or a cylinder or two through each. Um, <clears throat> not enough to really get good with it. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.